Hi, thanks for coming back. It's Matt here again with mywebbro.com, and today I want to take a really quick look at the other search engines in the world. Um, we know, we all know that Google is the biggest, baddest search engine out there, um, and we know that most people uh, process their search queries through the Google search engine. But there are others. Um, I know we've all heard of Bing, we've all heard of Yahoo, and some of us have even heard of the other uh, more obscure and foreign search engines that actually they get a small percentage of that market share also. But let's take a really quick look at some of the statistics about what search engines are being used most frequently, and then let's take a look at what happens when I do a search in those other search engines um, as far as local results are concerned when I'm trying to find a business near me. So right off the bat here, let's take a look at these fun numbers. Um, right here is the Google search engine market share world worldwide at 92.25%. And that's kind of high actually right now because I remember in the past it being anywhere from 85 to 90%. And now we see in at least in, at least in December of 2018, 92 and a quarter percent of all of the searches in the world were being processed through Google according to StatCounter, which is a pretty reputable statistics um, um, organization. So, so here we see 92.25% of searches in the world going through Google, but that means that, that they're not all going through Google. And here we see the, the next, um, the next um, search engine in market share is Bing at just about 2.5%. And then the next one is Yahoo at uh, just about two and um, two point oh seven percent. So um, we can see a huge, a huge um, share of that market going to Google, and then smaller percentages to Bing and Yahoo. But listen, Yahoo and Bing at adding up to at about five percent of total searches ends up being a substantial number of searches locally. And how do, how do we determine about how many that would be? Well, it's fuzzy math, but here we can go. If Google is processing 3.5 billion searches per day, right? So, so let's see, 3.5 billion searches per day. So let's see, what does that number even look like? That number looks like that. So 3.5 billion searches per day, and let's just say 2.5% of those, right? So 0 0.02, uh, 0 0.025, we'll do that math. So something like like 90 million searches a day are going through Bing, and then probably something like 70 million going through Yahoo. So that's worldwide, of course, but the whole point here is that there are going to be times when you're optimizing for Google and ignoring Yahoo and Bing, and eventually I would love that you spend a little bit of time, a little bit of money, and invest in the other platforms too, because the whole game of search engine optimization is maximizing your exposure through these queries that people are doing right to find you. So unlike print and unlike radio where you're broadcasting out to people who could care less about your message, these search engines are an opportunity to show your services or products to people who are looking for them. Now, if 90% of people are looking here, and 10% of them are looking here, right? Then you obviously need to make sure you're in both places to maximize your exposure. So let's see, why, why does this happen? Why do so many people use Microsoft? Well, it's because of the Microsoft Edge browser. This browser right here, this mic Microsoft Edge is the browser that comes default um, with your Windows computer. So just like how Safari comes um, with your Mac computer, or with your Apple computer, just like you get Safari, these um, these PC users are getting this Microsoft Edge browser, it's called, okay? Now, Microsoft Edge is cool, but let's just do a quick search for pizza near me. So, here we have local results for pizza near me. You can see him, they appear here on the map, sort of like Google, and here they are. Sabaro, Paris, Tony's, Papa John's, Da Vinci's, Domino's, and the list goes on, right? Hungry Howie's, Pizza Hut, Domino's. So it's funny, who, who do I typically find is really good at search engine optimization? It is always the companies with all the money. So the Papa John's, the Domino's, the Savaros, they're gonna definitely be in Bing because they understand the value of it. Um, let's do that same search, Pizza Near Me, 
Um, let's do that same search here in Google Chrome and see uh, what a difference it is. I mean, it may not be a huge difference, but I'm sure there will be a difference. So here we can see clearly that that Tony's Pizza, look, Tony's Pizza is taking very seriously the Bing search engine because here they are listed beautifully, and then here they are in Google, Tony's Pizza. Papa Murphy's, Salam. So let's go more places because I want to see which guys are in Google. Hungry Howie's, Salam, Tony's, Papa Murphy's, Pizza Hut, Jets, okay, Rockies. These are the guys in Google who are only one of those guys. Tony's, let's see. Oh, there's Hungry Howie's. And there's Papa Murphy's. Okay, so, so you do have a few of these businesses in Bing but not as high, ranking as high as they are in their Google listing. And so that actually looks to me a little bit like they're new to the Bing thing. Look, 616 reviews um, for Tony's Pizza in Huntersville on Google and compare that with um, 125 reviews on Bing. So about a, about a fifth of the reviews on, on Bing. So, And then let's take another look at why do people use Yahoo? And I'm going to show you why people use Yahoo. If you have Yahoo email, well, whoops, if you have Yahoo email, you tend, you may tend to while you're in here, you're searching your email, you're checking out your email. And I've seen so many people do this. I've been sitting over their shoulders while they do this. They're in their Yahoo email. And then uh, next thing you know, they're just, they're performing a search in Yahoo. Um, you know, I mean, I don't know that very many people are like, I'm going to Yahoo to make a search, but this is what's happening is pizza near me. Let's go ahead and finish that pizza near me. And then look, you got Pizza Hut, and then you got DoorDash, and then you got Domino's. So you're not getting really, and look at this. Oh, Uncle Mario's, good on you guys. You see how they're appearing so high in Yelp? Oh, on Yelp. Okay, here you go. Here you go. These are their Yelp reviews that Yahoo's using right here. So pizza, uh, pizza near me, in regards to a Yahoo search, would be really easy for any of these local guys to appear to be uh, top ranking in. Any of these local guys would have a really easy time being a top ranking company in Yahoo right now, which I don't see why not. Why not do that? So anyway, I, I wanted to, at least I wanted to show you these statistics and I wanted you to be aware of the fact that if you're spending all your time and money on Google, maybe you should break that down. Kind of how these market share statistics are, wor are working. I'd say spend about 90% of your time on Google and then give about 5% of your time to Bing and about 5% of your time to Yahoo. And you will be maximizing your exposure in the three most important search engines in the world. All right. Thank you so much for coming back. Again, this is Matt at mywebbro.com. You can find me Matt at daswow.com. You can find us on LinkedIn, on Facebook, and uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Have a great day.